Now we are going to see about the fundamentals of the framer which need to be learned before getting into the development phase. We will discuss about the canvas, left, right and top panel, frames, layout, size, position and finally we will see how to create the text and color style. Let's get into the video. After logging in into the framer, we will get the screen like this. On clicking on new, the new project will be created so that you can actually create the web page. So we get the screen. The center part is known as the canvas. So inside the canvas, we can actually create the web pages by including the elements that needed. So coming to the left panel, we have pages, layers and assets. The pages are for the web pages that need to be created for the website. The layers is for the pages that we are currently in. The assets is to store the reusable components and styles and codes here. Coming to the right panel, we have the properties of the elements that are created inside the canvas. And coming to the top panel, we have insert. Inside this insert, we have the predefined elements. So from here, we can use this predefined elements and make the necessary changes. Next, we have the layouts. In order to add the text, we can use this option. And we have a CMS and action. The action is for something like a quick search. To rename this project, we can click on it. So this pop-up will be displayed. From here, we can change the name. In order to preview this web page, we can use this play option so that the preview will be displayed. Now let's see about the frames. To create the frames, we can use the key F or in the layout, we can see the option as frame. By clicking and dragging, the frame will be created. Now let's see what is frame. The frame is like a box. Inside the box, we can create the elements. So the frame will hold the elements that are created. Let me explain you with an example. Inside the insert, I'm choosing one of the section here. So here we can see features large frame, features wrap and again another wrap. So each of these is represent as box. So inside the features, we have two wraps. And again inside the wrap, we have a frame. One is for image and another one is for content. Again inside this content, we have a title paragraph. And we have buttons and both the buttons are wrapped inside an another frame and all those are wrapped inside another frame which is something like a box so the frames is more or less like a nested box now let's see about the layouts the layout has two types stack and grid let me create two frames now I'm choosing this parent frame in order to make the layout as stack we are going to this layout and choosing plus option the stack will be created. To make the elements inside the frames neatly aligned, we are using the option stack or grid. The stack is for either rows and columns and grid is for both the rows and columns. Coming to the stack, we can clearly see these both frames is neatly aligned. And next we have the option of horizontal and vertical. If I make the option to vertical, these two frames will automatically adjust to the vertical position. Next, we have distribute. By default, the option will be in center. We can make the distribution to start, end, space between, space around, and space evenly. And, and we have the alignment that can be aligned to the start, center, and end. Even we can make it as wrap. In order to make the gap between these two frames, we can use the option gap. So the gap will be created between these two frames. We can give the padding value by using this option. Even we can give the padding value for the top, right, bottom, left separately. Even without creating the frame separately, we can directly make the rows, columns and grid by using the option here. If I click on rows, the row will be created with a predefined two frames that will be aligned in a rows. And even I can make the columns just like that. The same will be followed for the grid. Next, let's see about the size. The frame can be created by the free form. So the width and height will be created 
based on the frame created so that the option will be fixed and then we have the option of relative if i use the option relative it will be calculator based on the percentage if i make this percentage to 50% then this particular frame will be 50% of its parent that is the 50% of this frame and if i make it to 80% it will occupy the 80% of its parent element and we have the option fill if i use the fill option then it will automatically occupy the full width of the parent so that you can able to see if i use the option fill it is occupying the full width of its parent and finally we have the option of fit content let me explain you with another example the fit content is to make the the fit content is to make the frame to be fit according to the content inside that frame let me show you i'm clicking on fit so this frame will be fit based on the content which is inside it if i again make the height to fit content it will fit according to the content which is inside it next let's see about the position we have four types of position absolute relative fixed and sticky coming to the relative first the relative position is like a static position so all the frame which is relative will be stacked one above the other just like this even we can't move this freely so now if i make the position to absolute then that particular frame can be freely moved as like we are seeing in the figma the next position is fixed position let's see about this fixed position if i make this navigation bar to fixed then that particular bar will be fixed then this particular frame will be fixed to the entire screen let me preview this so this particular navigation is fixed to the entire screen even going to the end of the screen that particular bar is fixed to the screen now let's see about the position sticky let's make this content position to sticky even we can make the offset here let me preview this so this particular content will be sticked to the screen until this parent element goes off the screen like this so we can clearly see until this parent frames goes off the screen this particular content is sticked to the screen so the fixed and sticky position is different from one another now uh, let's see how to create the text styles now i'm clicking on this text and going under the text here we can see the styles so on clicking on this we can create a new styles from here we can choose the option that we require and by clicking on edit we can edit the font weight etc even we can give the colors from here and make the transform to capitalize upper case lower case etc even we can give the decorations and we can predefine the alignment also and coming to the breakpoints we can add the breakpoints beforehand the 1200 for desktop and medium for tablet the small is for the device smaller than the tablet and here we can give the size based on the breakpoints the letter spacing line spacing paragraph everything can be given beforehand by using this text style and next let's see how to create the color style so under the style we can see fill inside this fill we can choose the color that we need and in order to create the color style i'm choosing the option plus and here we can give the name so that the particular color will be created and that color can be used again and again so these are all the fundamentals of the framer that need to be known beforehand so next we will explore the actual process of creating the website you can always walk through by checking out my other videos in the framer beginner tutorial playlist subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss anything i have uncovered detailed insight in my upcoming beginner framer friendly course for additional information check the link in the description below